As the South African Weather Service has issued a warning for possible snowfall over some parts of the Free State, the Western Cape as well as the Eastern Cape and Northern Cape. And for this discussion, we've roped in Vox Weather Meteorologist Michelle Duplessis as we continue with our special focus on this inclement weather warning. Michelle, it's great to have you with us. Thank you so much for your time. So some parts of the country have several snowfall warnings. Where are the likely areas of concern so that residents can better prepare themselves? Good afternoon, Alicia. So before I talk about where the snowfall is expected, I just want to first talk about what's bringing the snowfall. So this evening, a strong cut of low pressure system is expected to develop over the western interior of the country. It will move then slowly eastwards over the central interior before exiting along the wild coast and the southern coast of KwaZulu-Natal. Now, with this cut of low pressure system, we are expecting freezing levels to drop significantly overnight into Monday. Monday morning with heavy snow expected over the northern high-lying regions in the Eastern Cape. Towns like Barkley East can see more than 60 centimeters of snow. Heavy snow is also expected in Lesotho and then over the southern part of the Free State we are expecting some light snow as well as the eastern regions of the Free State and then also over the southern part of KwaZulu-Natal around Lesotho and the bordering regions between Lesotho and KwaZulu-Natal. And then some models are also showing the likelihood of snow as far north as in parts of northwest and the northern regions of the Northern Cape. Now we don't often see snow in these regions um, and there's a possibility that the snow will fall with rain, so it might quickly melt. And then we also have the ECMWF weather model that's showing the possibility of even a, a few snowflakes in Hateng on Monday. So we'll have to see if the forecast plays out like it's currently showing. Um, yes, but heavy snow is definitely expected, especially over the northern regions of the Eastern Cape, where the Weather Service already issued multiple weather warnings for disruptive snowfall, including an orange level six warning. So so people must please be careful. We know last year when it snowed um, so heavy, the Van Rienen Pass was completely closed and people were stranded. So if possible, avoid those areas. Um, I would not attempt a snow chase in those areas just because we know we are expecting heavy amounts of snow. Mm, thank you so much for that detailed update, Michelle. I mean, we're quite used to season changes in the country, not being that extreme, right? But recently, I suppose the effects of climate change mean that even more unusual and inclement weather phenomenon are actually becoming, becoming quite familiar. So what is different with the system that has predicted snowfall in most parts of the country? And interestingly enough, though, Michelle, excluding Limpopo. So... Cut of low pressure systems is completely normal for this time of the year. Every year we see strong cut of low pressure systems and it just depends on how steeply the freezing levels drop if we get snow in certain regions or not. Mm -hmm. So you cannot um, connect one strong system to climate change and global warming. So yes, climate change is happening and global warming is happening, but it's ha it has been happening since the start of time. Um, climate has always been changing. It's just the rate at which it's changing is faster now than in previous years. So you cannot connect one strong system directly to climate change, but we are seeing a definite Definitely, we are seeing climate change and we are seeing global temperatures rising. And with that, we are seeing more frequent severe weather events. Mm, absolutely, Michelle. And how long will we remain in the icy grips of this cycle then? As, uh, of course, the predicted so snowfall could cause uh, quite serious uh, disruption, especially on traffic flows over mountain passes as well. So this kind of low pressure system is expected to move away from the country on um, Tuesday morning around the wild coast and the southern coast of KwaZulu-Natal. But I just want to mention that the biggest danger associated with this kind of low pressure system is the tail of the kind of low, also known as the scorpion's tail. And this tail of the kind of low pressure can bring some heavy rain while exiting the country on Monday and early on Tuesday to parts of the Eastern Cape and KwaZulu-Natal, where the Weather Service already issued multiple weather the warnings for disruptive rainfall so people must please be careful and do not attempt to cross any flooded bridges or low-lying flooded areas um the 
coldest conditions is expected on Monday and Tuesday with the coldest morning on Wednesday morning. And then by the end of the week, conditions will have settled again with temperatures slowly but surely recovering. But the coldest will definitely be at the start of this week. With We, see, we are seeing maximum temperatures only expected expected to be around 10 degrees Celsius in parts of the Free State, as well as the high-lying regions in the northern and eastern and western Cape. And in Hauteng, temperatures will only be around 15 degrees Celsius. So it will be quite a chilly start to this next week. Mm, so we need to keep uh, we'll cling on very firmly to our willies there, Michelle. I mean, we always emphasize, of course, here as uh, the SABC News, the need for our viewers as well as listeners to pay special attention uh, to these reports as well as level warnings. Please break it down in the simple terms for us when we're seeing, for example, the current level warnings uh, around the country and what these actually translate to so as to avoid unfortunate incidents of people getting stuck on the road. And is the weather services like Vox Weather uh, making, it more, making more strides in making understanding these reports uh, even more simpler? So the South African Weather Service use a matrix to issue warnings. So it's impact based warnings firstly, and then it's based on the likelihood of the event occurring and what the impacts will be. Will it be uh, major? Will it be minor? So the warnings work according to the impacts and the possibility of it be of it happening. So when we have a yellow level two warning, for instance, there's a a high chance that the impacts will be low while while we have um if we have like an orange level six warning it means something different like there's a low impact but the uh, there's a low chance but the impacts will be higher so the south african weather service is the only authority that can issue weather warnings and us as fox weather only our job is to get it out to the public to to um, publish the warnings so that people can be prepared and be ready for the weather warnings. And it's always important to adhere to these weather warnings. Mm, Michelle, thank you so much. Uh, great advice there. We're going to leave it there uh, with uh, Michelle Duplessis, the weather meteorologist uh, from Vox there on the predicted snowfall uh, in most parts of the country. Remember, we are paying uh, special attention and watching uh, those uh, weather developments across the country as, of course, some parts of the country, just excluding Limpopo, have received uh, snowfall warnings.